Hey guys, and welcome to episode 8 of BR Football's Game Time. Now, it's another dry week in terms of football news, but there is another title update, the sixth one, in fact, for FIFA 20. This one doesn't bring too many changes, I would say. Uh, one in particular is that it does fix offside detection in certain situations when it comes to gameplay. And if you are a fan of career mode, it does address one of the issues with skill moves in that mode. But if you are a fan of FIFA Esports, the first tournament in the FIFA 20 Esports season is kicking off Friday, November 8th in Bucharest, Romania. You're going to see uh, some returning names such as uh, Vitality Maestro, Tex, Emis Dasari, and the reigning world champion Mo Alba. The tournament spans three days, November 8th to November 10th. And I highly recommend you guys watch it because it's always good to watch the pro players play the game so you can improve your own gameplay. Trust me, it works. By the time uh, you're done watching it, you'll pick up a lot of new techniques. These guys are always the first people to figure out the new techniques that work best in the game. Now, everybody loves to see a goal recreated in FIFA. So how about we take a look at some amazing in real life goals recreated in FIFA 20, including Rashford Stunner against Chelsea. <laughs> Now, a lot of people always ask me, Chu, how do you make a lot of coins in FIFA Ultimate Team? Well, here are a few tips that'll help you increase your coin balance in the game. When it comes to making coins, there are a lot of advanced techniques out there that you might see, but I would say if you're just starting out, it's best to understand the basic principle of trading. And the basic principle of trading is buy low and sell high. So what you're doing is you're buying an item or a player from the transfer market lower than what it usually costs on the transfer market and then you're selling it back to the transfer market at a price higher than what you bought it for initially and the difference between those two prices what you bought it for and what you sold it for is your profit and that's how you increase your coin balance 
Of course, each sale, you do have to consider that there is a 5% tax on everything that you take to the transfer market and sell. So I think the most basic way to get into trading is to basically know what the price of a certain player or item sells for throughout the day and also throughout the week. So I would take a look at, you know, the opponents that you come up against, like which players are they using? You know, is there a certain right back that you see all the time? Is there a certain center back? Is there a certain striker? Take a look at, at like two or three of those players and then just understand what those guys sell for throughout the day. So, you know, take a look at their prices in the morning, in the afternoon and at night, or, you know, sometimes on the weekend or, you know, on a weekday. So you can just basically know all the time about what they're gonna sell. And the benefit of doing that is that as soon as you see that player or that item for a price less than what you already know it sells for, you can easily snap it up on the transfer market, buy it, and you know that you can easily relist it at any time and you can make a bit of profit because you know you bought it for less than what it usually goes for. All right, so you know what that player goes for, you buy him for a bit less and then you sell him for a bit higher than what you got him for and you got that profit. Basically, you just need to keep doing that repeatedly because you know you, the more you sell, the more profit you're gonna make. Each time you sell a player, the more profit you're gonna make. So study those two or three players, know what they sell for, buy them a bit less when you do see them on the market and then sell them for a bit higher. Now, depending on how many coins you start off with, you can look at cheaper players. So start off with players, you know, that usually sell for about 10,000 coins, and then you gradually move up the ladder. So from 10,000 coin players, you move to 25,000 coin players, 50,000 coin players. And the higher you go up, the more profit you're probably gonna make. Now from 50,000 coin players, you can go to 100,000. Then, you know, 500,000 coin players like Icons or like the really big players like the Contes or the Van Dykes. Uh, the higher you go up again, the more profit you're gonna make. And then you can start uh, buying and selling Icons. And you're basically repeating the same principle, but with more high value players. And that is literally how you can start building up your coin balance. And I will tell you that the world of FIFA kind of is centered around the biggest FIFA market. So. Uh, the biggest FIFA markets are in Europe, so you know, UK, Germany, France, uh, that's where most of the players who play FIFA are from. So the prices are usually catered to those regions. So what you're going to notice is that the best time to actually buy players is when people are coming home from work or from school and are sitting home at their consoles and are opening packs because a lot of people are opening packs and they're you know throwing a lot of players on the transfer market and if you know the law of supply and demand, if there's a lot of supply, but the demand is the same, the prices of items goes down. So if there's a lot of people coming home in Europe, you know, which is about 6 p.m. UK to about, you know, eight to nine o'clock UK time, around that time is probably the best time to buy because, you know, 6 p.m. is when EA does release new packs, new content in the game. So it's a good time to find some low prices uh, because people are overflowing the market. There's too much to go around. So the prices go down. So that's where you come in and buy some and then you sell it at a later date. Maybe when the UK is going to bed, maybe when the UK is just getting up because at that time, not that people are on, so there's not gonna be as many players to buy. So the price is gonna be a bit higher. So if you just keep repeating that process, you gotta start making a ton of coins, trust me. Now let's take a look back at one of the greatest games to ever come out on a video game console. It's none other than Pez 6. Now we've got a bit of a retro throwback for you this week here on Game Time. We're going all the way back in time to an absolute classic of a football game. Pro Evo 6 was known for many things, but mainly Adriano. I will be honest with you, 99 shot power. This is going to be nostalgia and I've been introing so long the trailer started. So let's get into this. Licensing was a bit of an issue back in these days. South East London Reds, the whole of Lancashire. You've were even in the game. None of this Piemonte Calcio malarkey. Right, lads, let's get amongst it. Look at these graphics. What is even going on? Yep, okay, right. So that doesn't look like Cristiano Ronaldo. I will be honest with you. I mean, it's taken approximately two and a half minutes for me to concede. This is Fabregas. Look at him go. He's put it over the keeper. It's a shambles of a goal which has been stuck away by Gilberto Silva. Of all all the players. To be honest, this is bringing back a lot of memories. Pro Evo 6 was a classic of a game. Jens Lehmann has got nerves of steel. 
No, it's gone badly. No. All right, listen. Lehman walks back to his goal in the background. You could argue he was slightly out of position. We go in again, though. We've got to try the main man himself. Keeper and Adriano. What a top two. This is Adriano. Oh, my God. That was actually very decent. Everything's just so pixelated. You know, like, at the time, right, this was amazing. So seeing this now, it's a catastrophe, I'll be honest, as Adriano is in and Adriano scores. I know I talked about the Inter players in this team, but let's just stop for a minute and talk about Juve. David Trezeguet, Pavel Nedved, Del Piero, Buffon... Pirlo all in the strike here. Oh my god, what did Ebra just do? One minute of stoppage time. No, <laughs> the dream is gone before I've even said it. And I think that'll wrap things up for this retro throwback looking at Pro Evo 6. It's an absolute classic of a game, lads. I would highly suggest getting back on it if you still got it up in the loft somewhere. So that's it for another episode of BR Football's Game Time. We'll see you next week.